Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a bokeh effect image using GIMP. So let's open up this folder on my desktop and I've got this picture here of this lady and I've got this background here and I want to combine the images and I want to blur out the background and keep this image quite sharp. So if you see we should end up with an image similar to this one where the background is all blurred. So let's go ahead and open up GIMP. And the first thing we'll do is drag and drop this image into the canvas. And I'll put links in the YouTube description where you can download these images or similar images. I'll take, give you a link to the website where I've got this image and you can follow the, the, uh, the tutorial as well. So the first thing we want to do is make sure we've got windows, dockable dialogues and make sure layers is open. Yeah? Layers here, as you see this little box here with the, with the image inside. We're going to right click on this image and add an alpha channel. And we're going to right click again on the same image and we're going to duplicate it here. So we've got two copies. We're going to make sure the first one's selected. You'll know it's selected because it's grayed out like this. And the first thing we're going to do is go to colors, desaturate and click desaturate here. And we'll leave it on luminance and click OK. That's going to make it grayscale. Then we're going to go back to colors and we're going to go to levels. And we're just going to use this left slider to slide across. And we want to try and make the image quite dark but without affecting the background. So something around here will be okay. Something like this. It's quite dark. It's okay. We'll click OK here. And then normally when you load up GIMP, white is going to be at the top here, foreground. And we want to switch it over to have black on the top. In, in the case of this particular image and I'm going to click on the paintbrush tool and enlarge the tool just make it quite large and we're going to paint over this picture and everything that is black we're going to keep and everything that is white we're going to get rid of so we're going to make sure the background is white and we'll try and keep all of this content that is in black Just going around this edge here. You can probably take a bit more time doing this yourself. And a couple of tips. So, um, if you want to if you want to zoom in and out of the image, hold down the control key on your keyboard. You can zoom in and out. If you want to, if you zoomed in quite closely and you want to move to the bottom left, for example, hold down the middle mouse button and you can drag, holding down the middle mouse button. If you just want to move up and down the image, just use the mouse button on the mouse wheel on its own. So that's a few little tips there to um, help you. I'm just going to make sure that this silhouette is pretty much black. This is almost black. Okay, I think that'll be fine. So the next thing we want to do is really we should save this, right? So let's go to File, Save As, and we're going to call this image. You can name it whatever you like. It's going to save the image. And the next thing we want to do is go to Colors, and we want to invert. So we we see something like this, where all the the uh, the silhouette is white. And we're going to go to edit and cut. In fact, go to edit, select all, and then go to edit and cut. We're going to move down to this image at the bottom. And we're going to right click on it. And we're going to go to add layer mask and make sure white full opacity is selected and click add. And then we're going to press control V or edit paste. And that's going to get rid of most of the background for us. We'll have to do a little bit of tidying up afterwards, but you can see most of the background is gone now. So let's get the, the background image, the main background. So we're going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to click on this uh, this image here. This is the background image, and click Open. 
and we're going to go back to this image and this floating layer we want to anchor it so click anchor and then we're going to right click and we're going to say uh, merge visible layers here so we've got one flat image now and then we can go to select all and then edit copy we're going to copy this image go over to this tab where we've got the background and press ctrl v and we get this here and then we're just going to click this button here which will create a new layer so we've got the image now in the background in the foreground Let's see it here and we're going to use the move tool in fact what we'll do is we'll use the there you go the resize tool scale tool first we'll click on the image we'll hold down the shift key and we're just going to drag the image in like this maybe to about this sort of size and we'll rescale it so we'll click scale and then we can use the move tool to move the image closer to the center there's a few things wrong with this image I did rush it a little bit but we'll see the problems afterwards and we'll fix them quickly so the image is in the middle now and now we want to deal with the background so we're going to click on the background layer here the bottom one and we're going to go to filter blur and we're going to use gaussian blur you can go in and experiment with a lot of these tools yeah don't don't just try one thing go and experiment with them um but let's create in fact what we'll do is we'll right click here on this um background layer and let's duplicate it and we'll duplicate it one more time let's say we do uh three three right so we're now on the we're going to select the top one of these three and we're going to go to filter blur and gaussian blur and then we're going to drag across and you can see the background blurring now right and you you can drag all the way and it'll be really blurred but you want to at least have some sort of way of understanding what that background was looks like something like here we can still see the water in the sky and recognize what it is and click ok now you can see like if i zoom in a bit here you can see this background still showing here um because i rushed it a little bit here but what we, we can fix this quite quickly so let's go and use the eraser tool here and we'll make the brush quite big and let's do that undo that make sure you select the top layer we want to get rid of it's hard to see but it is noticeable especially down here you can see right maybe a bit on the side here not so noticeable on this side That's it, it's nice and clean. You can like tidy that up a little bit more. We spent a bit more time on it around the hair here. You can see it's a bit not really that noticeable, but Okay, let's just check um, just about the original picture because that was her hair down here. Her hair here. Okay, so you can see that effect there with the picture of this. Let's just save this actually. So we'll go to File, Save As, and we're going to call this image 2A. So that's one effect. Let's hide this layer. So we're going to click on this eye right here. 
So this is the, the background, right? The first one we did. When we click that, we see like the um, the background again. We we'll click on the layer below. Let's try one of these other tools. So we we'll go to filter, blur, and let's do something like um, let's try this one. It's kind of set already. That looks quite good actually. We'll click OK. We've got like the zoom blur effect and we'll hide that one and we'll go to the third one and we'll try something else let's try I don't think circle is going to work very well but we'll try it I mean you might like that You need to make sure this X in here is ticked, it's like a preview, so it'll show you what it's going to look like in the background. What it might look like. So you can have something like that if you like. I don't really like that, so I'm going to cancel that one. Go to tools, let's go to back to the filters, blur, and let's do a. Try the pixels. Cancel like a pixel blur. Not very good. So it's almost like an oil painting sort of effect. That's quite nice. We'll click OK. So what we'll do is go to File, Save, let's save this. We're going to go to File, Export, and in the selection type here, file type, we're going to do JPEG, and we're going to call it to image, uh, image A, that's fine. So we'll export this, we'll leave it at around 90% compression. Then we'll hide this layer and we'll go to the one above, this, this middle one. We'll go to File, export as and we'll call this one 2B and then we'll hide that one and go to the very top one and we'll go to file export as and we'll call it 2C export and then we'll click here we'll just save this close it we'll save this and then close GIMP. And here you can see so this is like this is the make file for cutting around this image here. This one we'll get rid of. This is like the original one I did before. This is the background we used, and these are the three examples, and then this is the image, uh, the make file combined with those two images together. So you can go in and play around, and experiment, and do some other effects. So this is the first one that we well, this is the third one that we actually did. Uh, with the water, sort of like a um, watercolor sort of effect, and we've got this one with this motion blur where everything's blurring towards the character picture, and then we've got the third one where it's just a normal blur effect. So there's three different types of styles there. Um, out of the three, I kind of like this one with this like blurry sort of watery color type of style, but it's up to you what you like. So you can go in experiment with those images i'll put links to these images in the youtube description and give this a go and maybe take a picture of yourself and do this effect or you can do it for some artwork uh, for a project that you're working on feel free to experiment experiment with those backgrounds have a look at some of the other um, plugins and tools for different effects there's loads of different ones there we only showed you like three or four examples so see what other ones look like remember let's just open up this file again so when we open up this one, this is going to be our this is our final image with the three layers. Remember to make different backgrounds. So start off with the original one, and then make the different backgrounds, and you can just hide and show them to show the different effects. And you can have twenty different ones here, right? And experiment with all of them. Okay. 
All right, that's the end of this tutorial, and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial. Thank you.